Hi everybody, it's Dan from Aid Gaming. Welcome back to Battle, wait, Rogue Tech. So, for those of you who are watching the current Battle Tech series, you'll know that we are approaching the end of the campaign. However, I've been talking about Plant Rogue Tech. So what I wanted to do was record a quick five, 10 minutes of what I'm proposing to do as far as pilots and interaction in Rogue Tech. Now there's gonna be a lot of stuff to explore. Rogue Tech is this really complex and sort of more difficult mod uh, for Battletech. There's a lot more mechs, there's a lot more planets, there's a lot more technology, weapons and things like that, a lot of which I don't really know about or understand. So there's gonna be a big learning curve, but we'll figure it out together. Now, one of the things that I'm going to just sort of walk you through my plan here, and I'll be happy to consider feedback in the comments and try and use that or, you know, at least evaluate that and determine whether I want to use that for when we actually start. So we're going to play career mode, number one. Uh, my current plan is a good another streamer uh, who's playing Rogue Tech, Hunts, Hunselman, um, is currently playing, well, he started in Davian. That doesn't necessarily mean that your background was Davian. I forget what his background was. My plan is to start just to the north of that, which is Curita Space, okay? So that's my plan. I'm gonna leave most of this other stuff default, but because I'm going to be playing uh, difficulty, so those were those skulls, difficulty by planet rather than difficulty by lance though there's an option to do either one in rogue tech it means i'm going to have to travel further between planets to find planets or skull missions that are more appropriate to what my level is which means i'm going to need some initial extra starting money so i can last a month or two more just with the bills so i'm going to my plan is to up this slightly that'll pay for you know maybe a month or something worth of extra travel um, and then I'm gonna pretty much leave everything else default okay we're not playing iron mode because saves sometimes break especially with this mod um, but we will be honest about our recoveries if, if there are any okay so my other proposal of course we'll let this load I am going to not start with any Ronin or um, Kickstarter pilots so they're all gonna be renameable and as we have people who are commenting, who are really participating in watching this campaign, um, I will be naming pilots after them. So with that said, I currently also plan to use sort of a spreadsheet to track points for pilots as they're participating or sitting on the bench in the campaign. And what I want to, or what I'm preliminarily planning to do, is I'm going to assign some kind of dollar value to a single point, which may fluctuate as the campaign goes along. And that's going to give you, if you represent one of these pilots, the opportunity to see maybe a nice weapon that we got from Salvage or something like that and say, hey, the mech that I'm piloting, that I'm assigned to, I'd really like to upgrade or retrofit it in a particular fashion and use some of my points or maybe even upgrade to a new mech we got. Um, so that'll help me A, control you know what we're doing. I have to approve of these things. I'm always the last sign off. And two, it'll allow you to interact some more. Feel like you're engaged, feel like your pilot has some say in what he's doing and what he's flying. Not in the individual battle itself, but at least what he's piloting. So, I may fluctuate the point values, I may fluctuate the cash, but that's sort of the idea of the proposal. So let me know what you think about that. So back to the actual uh, character origi origins, I'll probably make myself actually from um, Curita Space. Commander. And then I'm probably gonna go with, uh, you know, my family was betrayed. By. I kind of like that idea. And then we'll go with the Solaris Gladiator. You know, these, they tell you a story about your character. 
but they also affect some of your just your starting skills. You know, I'll, I'll choose a face as an example. Uh, let's uh, just choose this guy real quick, and we'll just leave these names for now, just so you can see. It. Standing by. And what you're going to see once we hit here confirm and we get loaded in, you're going to see that the mechs that you start with, based on what we're doing in Rogue Tech, depend on the starting planet. We chose Kirita Homeworld. Um, that'll give you always a consistent mech. So in our case, that's this Wolverine here. Nice mech, got some pulse lasers on it. Uh, if we were scrolling through over here. It's got some nice additional, some e-cooling, double heat sinks, things like that. The pulse lasers and some SRM-6s. The pulse lasers are going to be nice because they fire three times each and they have higher accuracy to begin with. Uh, they're kind of hot. But the rest of the tonnage you start with is randomized. However, it tries to choose mechs that are kind of tagged for the Curita area. So in this random start, which won't necessarily be our start, I'm just showing you this as a proposal, we ended up with an enforcer at 50 tons and this looks like very inner sphere it looks like it has an ac10 no no special new technology on it but this phoenix which is completely new to the mod oh it's got endo steel and heavy ferro looks like it's got double heat sinks on it so the weapons look fairly standard but it's definitely a little bit tricked out it's a 45 tonner there's a javelin here that was a 30 ton it's got some extended range medium lasers some medium pulse but other than that, looks untagged. But other than that, looks oh, it's got an XL engine and some endo, some double heat sinks. So it's got some new technology in there too. And then this Uziel. Now what we end up with could be completely different, but that's the plan. So please, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Offer any tweaks. You know, we're gonna massage this as we go. But this is upcoming really, really soon. I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too. There is really a lot to explore, and they're constantly making changes to the mod as well. But there is so much in it, so much that can kill us in it. So, looking forward to it again. Please comment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.